Hi everyone, Gober from FactionFiles.com here again. Um, this is the next in my series of little mini tutorials that I'm going to do showing various aspects of the editor. This one is going to be doing uh, or showing outside areas, just basic outside areas where you can see the sky as well as fog and skyboxes and some different options for skyboxes. So um, with that I'll get started. Now important thing to note about this tutorial, uh, this is not a brushwork tutorial so I, I didn't show how to uh, make this cavern but I just made kind of a little basic cavern. I'll do a, a video on basic brushwork later and we can go over that kind of stuff but for right now I'm just going to keep this cavern that I got. So first things first, I'm going to texture my canyon. Now easiest way to do this, this here is uh, the biggest room in my canyon. I'm just going to select one face in it, if I hold shift and press S it selects all other faces on this brush. I'm then just going to apply, hit apply map. Now you can do some uh, some fancy texturing in here and like fix up, uh, fix up some of these edges if you want. I'm not going to worry about that right now, but uh, if you want to make it look really nice, you can do that. I'm going to select my floor, uh, floor faces there, and I'm just going to pick that texture for that. And I'm going to do the same thing. Uh, I'll do that after. Um, same thing here with uh, with my tunnel. So um, I'm just going to hit uh, Shift S again to select everything in the tunnel. Hit that. Actually, I want to put a different texture. I'm going to put a slightly different one. It looks a little nicer in the tunnel. Um, I'm going to go back to the floor. Go through to the floors. There you go. That looks nice. Um, now I'm just going to pack this, and we can play. We'll see how this looks. So there you go. As we can see, we got a little basic canyon and just a little tunnel going into it, and a little basic canyon here. Now, what this tutorial is going to go over is this ceiling here, that top face up there, or five faces. Um, you're going to be able to see the sky through that. So let's do that. Now, there are two ways to do this. First way, my preferred way, go in here, select an invisible texture, apply it to the ceiling. That is the first way. The second way. Um, which you should actually apply the invisible texture before you do the second way if you want to do this is to right click on or right click and go properties while you have those faces selected tick the show sky flag right here now show sky is a little misleading in its name um, you can see the sky through invisible texture just as well show sky essentially deletes those faces at runtime in the game allowing the player to jump through that could be bad, especially if the edge of this canyon was an incline that the player could climb up because then they could just jump out the top of your map, they could jump into another section of the map, they could just jump forever and eventually die. Either way, it's probably something you want to avoid. So I recommend um, for skies just using invisible faces, but uh, you know, to each their own. So um, I'm going to now save, pack, and play this map. And you are going to see one very fundamental problem here now. There you go. It looks extremely ugly, and that's because you're essentially looking into the void. There's nothing up there anymore, but it's marked as invisible, so you can see through it. The game is not rendering those faces. Now, first way to resolve that, I'm going to show you some fog here now. So we go into level properties here, just right click anyway, go to level properties. You can also go up to edit, hit level properties. Uh, I'm going to set my fog color, uh, some type of, I'm just going to use a light orangish color there. Near clip is going to be when the fog starts. I'm just put that to 15. Far clip, I'm just going to set it to 60. Uh, you can play with those values, see what you like. Uh, important to note, you can't see fog in the editor. Uh, it doesn't render it, so it's kind of annoying, but you have to go into game each time to see how it looks whenever you adjust the values. So I'm just going to play this. Here you go. You can see some fog. Now you see you can see the fog on the canyon. As I get further away, it gets more foggy. Also, fixed our problem with our skybox, because now you can just look up and see fog. This could be what you're looking for. This is one way to do a quote unquote skybox. Um, this is one way to do it. Uh, especially like if you're doing like, uh, I've seen people make like uh, maps that are like on a dock or a port or something and it's a really foggy day or maybe a stormy day. That might make sense. Um, for our map though, um, I'm gonna actually do a real skybox. So let's make a skybox. Now I'm going to make this too high, four wide and four. You can obviously play around with these values as you like. It's gonna be an airbrush. Important, make this far outside your map, especially if you have Geomod in your map. I say that because if you allow a player to Geomod into where your skybox is, you end up with a lot of really messed up graphical problems that you don't want. <laughs> it does not look nice. Um, so you wanna make sure that it's far outside your map, especially if you have Geomod in your map. Now, I'm just going to start texturing our skybox. 
Technically, you could set it as a skybox and then start texturing it. I would always recommend texturing it first because it's a lot easier to be able to see what you're doing here. So I'm just going to do the edges here, scale in. Of course, you can put whatever textures you want here. I'm just using these because I like them. I just copied the UVs from that brush. I'm going to select here, paste them. Here you go. So now we have our textured skybox. Here you go. We have a textured skybox. It's an airbrush with uh, some basic textures on it. It doesn't really uh, need to be any more than that to have a nice looking skybox. Now, to set it as a skybox, I'm going to put my camera inside of it. This doesn't need to be grid aligned, so you don't need to worry about that. I'm then going to go over here in object mode and double click room effect. Now, go to properties on room effect. The effect type here, this is where you'd set what this room effect does. You can do ambient lights this way, uh, liquid, so if you want to do water or lava or acid or whatever. Um, I'm just going to take sky room here, that's what we need this for. All these properties here are for liquid rooms and ambient light rooms. For sky rooms, all you need to do is just take that one flag. I'm going to hit OK, and I'm going to hit build. Now, we cannot see... I was actually going to have this unticked when I show you that. So. We can't see um, our sky box here, our brush anymore, and we can't see the sky because this box wasn't ticked. It was before I just unticked it to show you. Um, this box here is unticked by default. Um, so you need to tick that to be able to see your sky box in the editor. Without that, you're not gonna be able to see it. You still see it in game, but not in the editor. Now, um, the important thing to note here, you can see where our camera is within our sky box in the editor. Um, Normally you would think that wherever this FX room is, that's where your camera is. Unfortunately, that's not the case. So if I just move this like way down to the bottom corner of our skybox, it's in the corner of our skybox. It doesn't actually change what I see. Uh, and that's because the camera position inside of your skybox is in the center of the room. I can show you this by just like taking this and stretching it up 10. There you go. Now the FX room icons in the bottom right hand corner or bottom corner. Uh, if I build here, see, we're still in the center of our skybox. So that's not really, uh, it's not really super effective to do it that way. You're going to need to keep that in mind. Uh, I've seen people do like maps where you're like a little Lego man on the floor. And you know, you look around and you see yourself on the floor. Uh, to do that, you're kind of going to have to cheat, you're going to have to make your sky room lower than the floor in it is. Um, so that, that's a little advanced for this tutorial. But just keep that in mind that your camera in your skybox is always in the middle of your your sky room. Just keep that in mind. Another thing, um, you can put stuff inside your sky room. I'm just going to make a solid brush here and put it over in the corner um, of my sky room. And if I hit build, there you go. That's uh, that's now over there now. And if I move it down, you can see it moves down. Keep moving it down. There you go. Um, I mean, you can go in and you can you can texture this. I mean, I can do there you go clouds. Um, Maybe something a little less uh, less ugly, like uh, oh, that's even more ugly. Oh, well. anyway, you get the point. Um, I can texture this, and you'll see it in in the skybox. Yeah, uh, that's useful for like stuff like clouds and that kind of stuff. So now, just to show you, I haven't played this yet with the skybox. I'm just going to go into the editor and show you our or not into the editor in game and show you our skybox. So here you go. Here's our sky. Um, and as you can see, the fog is still here. You can still see the fog in the map, but you're not going to see it in the sky. Um, this can actually be really useful combining the fog and the skybox. Like if the edges of your skybox were the same color as you have set for your fog, you can do a really nice horizon where the fog that shows on the level geometry blends into the skybox. You can make a really nice looking outdoor uh, setting like that. Most people do that when they're, uh, when they're doing outside maps with horizons. And take advantage of fog to make the horizon less uh, less abrupt so it fades in. Now the last thing I want to show you about skyboxes I'm just going to delete my skybox for. Um, this is another option. Um, so if you don't already have them, I would totally recommend you downloading this Red Groups package. These are official uh, prefabs, basically, that were created by Volition, the original developer of Red Faction, and released by them in 2001. Uh, as you can see, all the dates on these before the game was released. These are groups that they used to make things easier in the development of the actual game, both multiplayer and single player. So you can take advantage of these two. Um, so there's a number of them here. I'm just going to show a couple of them. Uh, 
There you go. Here's the box for DM11. DM11's Watch Your Step in multiplayer. Uh, it's a pretty complicated looking skybox. It's like uh, girders and scaffolding and stuff. There you go. So it's like an industrial area. Obviously not going to work for my canyon map. It's not really going to fit. But anyway, that's an option. Uh, another one. Like, uh, there you go. Uh, Sunset Sky. Uh, okay, now that is actually cutting into my map. So I need to move that outside of my map because that's not going to work if it's my entire map. But there you go, there's Sunset Sky. This one here even has uh, scrolling clouds. I'm going to go over scrolling textures in a later tutorial, but this one here even has uh, scrolling clouds. And it's a, nice, uh, it's a nice skybox. I can save that and play my map, and you will, you'll you'll see the skybox. There you go. So you can see our, uh, our cloud sky. Anyway, yeah, so uh, that uh, that's it for this tutorial. I'm going to link to the red groups down below. You can take advantage of those if you want. Hope the tutorial has been useful. Um, visit factionfiles.com for additional groups, for files, uh, forums, that kind of stuff. There's a lot of tutorials there as well. Uh, we also have a Discord group that I'll link in the description below. If you want to you know, come hang out with us, there's uh, myself, a couple other Faction Files users, and admins. We hang out there. Uh, if you got any questions about the editor, questions about the game, just want to hang out with the fans of the Red Faction franchise, we would love to have you. Anyway, with that, um, I hope this was useful. Leave a comment down below if it was, and I'll see you next time. Thanks.